All right, so today's video, I figured we'd give ourselves a proper setup and go from this to this. I've been doing this YouTube thing for a little while now, and for those of you true believers who have been there with me since I first started this journey back in 2018, you've realized that I haven't exactly had a steady and proper setup. I've moved from a couple different places and I've had a few different setups, but never one thing consistently. And now that I've moved again, and I've been doing this more and more continually, more, more constantly, I should say, I feel like I need something that's more proper. Also, I'm sorry if my head keeps getting cut off. My ceiling in my new apartment isn't exactly the tallest, so I can't really have the camera as high as I want it to, so I forgive me for that. And I know, since 2018, it's been a long time, and for me to not have a proper setup, it's a little ridiculous, but I've moved from my friend's basement. I currently work now for the last two years, working at the local DPW. To my attic, to my first apartment. I can't say it's a simple answer, but to another apartment. Welcome back to another episode of your friend's house. Two days. I'll be 26 on the 20th, and now we're here. So we're working with what we got, okay? Now for my last few videos, I kind of just done them here on my couch in this general vicinity and outside and kind of other places in my apartment. This has been my office workspace where I've been doing all my editing, my VFX, all that cool stuff. I want to take this and put this out here and make this my spot of work compared to being in there. And this way I can also have a better looking setup when I do my videos. So without further ado, let's get this going. All right, now that we have that all taken care of and moved out the way, it's time to go in here and get this all taken care of. So come take a look. Like I said, this has been my office space for the last couple months. It's nothing crazy, it's nothing pretty, but I have to take all this, clean it off, and wipe it down, and then reassemble this out there. And it's kind of boring to watch that, so I'm gonna speed that up so we can get through this faster. All right, so now that we got this all set up out here like this, it's time to add the finishing touches as far as adding our props and stuff back up on our shelves. I'm gonna take these down, I think, and rearrange these and put some other lights and stuff just so it makes it look a little nicer. I'm gonna set up our lights and then we'll show you the final product. Okay, so we are nearly 90% of the way finished with this setup. Just gotta set up our lights now. And as you know, you need your three sources of light, which is gonna be your fill light, your key light, and your backlight. So once I get that all set up, you see the final product. And then just like that, we have our new setup. It's not too bad, I don't, I don't think. It's pretty nice. I know this controller is kind of making like a weird like reflection thing right here. I'm not sure what to do about fixing that, but I don't mind it. It's not too distracting. And if anything, I just crop it so it's out of frame. But overall, it's not too bad. I think occasionally throughout the videos, I might replace these, just kind of switch it up as a little just fun. Um, eventually, you'll see the screen up with my computer going and doing whatever I did. I left this on here. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the new setup for the next however foreseeable future. Um, but yeah, expect some good things to be coming, some fun stuff. I have some stuff in the pipeline right now. Hopefully, get this out to you uh, later in the week. And uh, yeah, so this is it. Uh, if you liked it, if you have any questions about how you can do a similar setup, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you answer your questions. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. I can't do the thingy. I can't. I gotta hit the button.